a big house like this is for someone who has a huge family it's for someone who has a kind heart of welcoming other people i mean you can't have a big table a dining table like this and dine alone never you can't have a small tv when you have a, a huge sitting room like this can you imagine a beautiful house like this in the ghetto of Luveve in Blawai? I don't know what they did with the ceiling. I don't know what they did, but whatever they did, they did an amazing job. This is my first time seeing a fridge like this. You know, when you knock, I see what is inside. Can you imagine sitting on a sofa that charges your phone? I mean, there's a huge distance between the stove and the oven. That is something you barely see. The sink amazing when you are standing over here looking at the dining table and above it that chandelier it looks it looks different this is the master bedroom what i'm trying to say is that i slept here you know i used to have that basic mentality of thinking that people are not investing back in zimbabwe or africa in general you know i'm talking about people who are in the diaspora look at where i am right now this is a house that belongs to mr nyoni he's in the diaspora and this is his retirement house and i'm telling you guys i did spend a night here and everything i love everything about this house what you see here it was done on papers and it's a design from south africa i like it because like when you are looking at it this is sort of like the way they do it in the rural areas like but it's not this is way more advanced so this house it's a four bedroom house and there we have the sink it looks amazing it looks more advanced i mean if you are looking at the tap wow it's really amazing <laughs> I, I, I like it, you know, black and white, they do get along. Everything about this kitchen is, is, is lovely. The red color is really amazing. My favorite part is where I have to knock on the fridge and it lights up. That is the best. The island, I talked about it. I would give this kitchen 10 out of 10. I like it. Uh, the collaboration of colors, black, white, red is top notch. I love it. The, the stove, the oven, something that I've never seen in my life. These huge doors, we call them tick doors. They're really heavy. The house was supposed to be an open plan, but um, they changed. It was supposed to be an open plan. It's no longer an open plan because they have this wall between the, the dining room and the kitchen. I don't think that is still an open plan. Look at these guys. <laughs> this is the dining room. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Look at how big it is. I'm sitting over here and someone will be sitting over there. You know, I was really studying some couches the days that I've been here. And I'm telling you, I've been loving Blauayo so far. I really like Blauayo. So what I'm trying to say is that the very people do invest time in learning, in learning Shona. That is something that you barely see among Shona people. They don't want to learn the really. Oh my God, look at the design that we see up here. <laughs> the collaboration of colors. This is a great color. And it goes along with the curtains. Look at the curtains. Even the table, the chairs and everything. This is a chandelier and it's right here. This is my first time seeing a house that has two chandeliers. We have one here. Uh, above the dining table and another one here in the sitting room i mean look at how huge this tv is it goes along with how big the the sitting room is you can't have a small tv uh when you have a huge dining like this a huge sitting room like this it's really comfortable i'm seeing a charging port on a sofa Wow, guys, I don't want to lie to you. This house is really amazing and I love everything about it. So guys, what we are looking at as of now is called Glamour Court. I like it. It's different, it's unique. This room, 
I would say it's a study, I would say it's a room where kids can play. This room to be specific, it has different purposes. It could be, you know, one of those rooms where the elderly, the grown-ups would come and have a meeting. It could be a room where kids can come and play. It could be a room where you can come and study. You know, if you are a Christian, it could be a room where you come and pray. It's really quiet and peaceful. And, you know, I'm always saying open plan, open plan all the time. But this, this one is not because of that war over there. But it's still, it's still unique. It's still amazing. Can you imagine sitting on a sofa that charges your phone? It hits different. I'm telling you. This is the master bedroom. Look at how big it is. And look at the bed. What if I'm sorry because this is the master bedroom. We have to respect. I have noticed everything is really white in this house. You know, if you are to have white colors in your house, it literally means that a woman has to be there to maintain that color. A man, in a blink of an eye, the white color can turn to brown. <laughs> and here we are. This is the master bedroom, guys. This is the master bedroom, the bed, the deadboard top notch and here i am i'm watching myself you know a house like this you know having mirrors in your house a woman would go crazy over this you know women and mirrors their sisters and if i walk a little bit further we have a shower we have a tub and the toilet wow Everything about this house is really advanced and I'm, I'm loving everything about it. I came yesterday, as you can see, this is, this is my bag. What I'm trying to say is that I slept here. This, this was my room and I'm telling you, I loved everything about it. 